Hello, today we'll be looking at Plantronics wireless headsets and how to set up your remote answering device. Here is a Plantronics lifter and this is an EHS cable. We'll be using the lifter since it is the most common remote answering device available. The first thing you should notice is the switch located on the back of the lifter. This controls how high the lifter raises itself when activated, which is important because each phone will requ require a different height. Next is finding the correct placement for the lifter. As you can see, when mounted on the phone lower, it tends to wobble and may even hang up a call prematurely. When it is placed mid-range, it is kind of acting as a balancing act still. Where most phones are going to require the lifter is towards the top. This provides a smooth answering and hang-up motion to make sure you don't lose any calls prematurely. After you place the lifter, take the cord and plug it into the wireless base unit. This is the last step for setting up a lifter, and once you're done, you are ready to go. Some consumers tr choose to use an electronic hook switch cable, or EHS cable, to achieve the same purpose. This is a more modern adaptation of a lifter, performing the exact same job, but electronically instead of physically lifting up the phone. As you can see, there are many different EHS cables to pick from. This is because each cable is specific to both the make and the model of the telephone they're going to be hooked up to. We highly, highly suggest that you call us with any kind of compatibility questions so that we can ensure that you receive the right product, especially considering that using one headset versus another headset on the same phone may require a different EHS call cable. We're knowledgeable about all the makes and models of the phones and can tell you whether you need a lifter, EHS cable, or this, an RD1. Thank you for watching our video and I hope you have a great day.